How's it going everyone? Crippling social anxiety here. Today we have quite a spicy meme. It's an advert for uh, furniture I think and it's... But by the intro of the video alone, I think most of you have the idea that it's incredibly messed up and probably barely legal. But before we jump into that beautiful meme, I have something else to show you. Something that caught my eye the other day and it's absolutely amazing. Do you guys remember that Tony Bamanaboni meme I made in that CSGO video? You know the incredibly forced one that no one found funny and a lot of people told me to kill myself because of it. Hey, my name is Tony Bamanaboni. Would you like us some <laughs> laugh insurance, yes? Spaghetti and meatballs. Well, the other day, someone has actually made a Tony Bamanaboni NPC in Fallout 4. Hey, it's Mike Moore. Quick video to show one of the voiced NPCs in the big melee collectible mod I'm working on. Hi. Hey, my name is Tony Bamanaboni. There's no dialogue for your character, so you should probably use the silent protagonist mod or something. Tony Bamanaboni. So you can ask his name as many times as you want, and he'll just keep repeating himself like an asshole. It's me, Tony Bamanaboni. The dialogue is from a video Pyrocynical made a few days ago. Spaghetti and meatballs. After a hard day of selling the, the life insurance, yes, Tony Bamanaboni, come home. Excuse me. Hey, my name is Tony Bamanaboni. And when you ask him this, he'll attack you. Would you like us some on. life insurance, yes? And when he dies, he drops a fucking Bam and a Bowie knife. <laughs> <laughs> Bam and a Bowie knife. What I love most about that video is the dialogue. All you can literally say is, what are you doing here? Tony Batman a Boney, what's your favorite food? And fight me, I want your knife. Really, really fleshed out dialogue there, especially for a Fallout game. But honestly, it's a hilarious mod, you should check it out. I'll leave a link to the original channel in the description, but please watch it after the video, not now, because uh, I, I need your ad revenue so I can stay warm. Thanks. So thanks to the beautiful inner workings of the Pyrocynical subreddit, I found another video today called Sparkle Johnson Music Video Lamps everywhere. The thumbnail itself is, you know, it's really distinctive. It really shows the inner workings of the YouTube algorithms willing to promote such videos to me, you know. So before I start this video, I I've got to give an obligatory warning. There is going to be a lot of twerking in this video. There's going to be some girls twerking. There's going to be a uh, fucking old man pretending to be a girl twerking. So that's the warning out the way, guys. You know, if some of you want to back out and go watch fucking Snoop Dogg in Minecraft or something, go for it. I won't judge you. But to the 10 people that are left, Let's give this video a watch. Ah, uh, Sparkle Johnson. It's your girl, what, what? HFL, Hotel Furniture Liquidators. Now, by the intro alone, if you haven't caught on, there's two fairly attractive women, and then there's a man, uh, a middle aged quite an old man, quite an aged man. Uh, he's got quite a nice tan line to him, I'm not gonna lie. Fair enough, you know. Now, if you haven't noticed, this man is, uh, he seems to be wearing woman's apparel. He seems to be dressed up as a woman and trying to uh, hang in with the women, pretending to be a woman himself. Now, obviously, you know, I'm down for transgender and all that stuff. You know, that that's totally fine. Not my ballpark exactly, but still, I'm willing to accept it. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, the, the way this guy does it, he actually pretends to be a woman in incredibly well. He, he, you'll see as the video goes on what I mean by that. It's just a downward spiral, honestly. White girl twerk team. I just gotta say, I wanna buy this martini glass. I've always wanted to drink out of a glass that's bigger than my entire fucking head. 2014. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. So remember about 20 seconds ago when I said the video gets a lot more darker? Uh, I think we've already pretty much reached the uh, darkest depths of hell itself because, you know, nothing reminds me of evil itself, sin incarnate, than a man twerking dressed as a woman you know it's really something incredibly niche i mean a, a huge amount of you are probably aroused by this and if so congratulations lambs everywhere lambs everywhere lambs everywhere lambs everywhere lambs everywhere lambs everywhere chairs over here chairs over here so we chalked up the twerking as pretty weird, especially a man dressed as a woman twerking. I, I, I still can't process that. But anyway, I digress. But now what he started to do is make some kind of jacking off motion with the lamps, which uh, probably isn't the most family friendly motion you could do. It's pretty, pretty not safe for work. Now, it should be common knowledge if you or 
anyone you know starts jacking off some kind of lamp, you probably need some kind of help, honestly, because uh, I I've met a few people in my life that like to dress up as the opposite sex and twerk while also jacking off lamps, and uh, most of them are in insane asylums at this point, I think. Insane asylums or some serving some kind of life sentence in jail. Chairs over here, chairs over here. Chairs over here, chairs over here. Catch is right there, catch is right there. Catch is right there, catch is right there. Now, at this point, the majority of you watching this video probably think that this is an advertisement for some kind of sex line or something, you know, something to do with sex in some kind of aspect. What I'm about to tell you may shock you, but this isn't an advert for sex or some kind of sex line. It's an advert for furniture. For some reason, whoever organized this advert thought, you know what's going to sell tables, chairs, glassware? You know what's gonna sell that in the millions? Get two women and a guy dressed as a woman to twerk and film it in some kind of 50 cent Snoop Dogg gang style video. I personally have never heard of this business before watching this video, so that pretty much shows how successful this ad was. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a lot of fun, but uh, it, it's just it's just really unneeded. Like, imagine little kids watching the TV. They're, they're watching a bit of fucking SpongeBob or something, I don't know. And then the adverts come on in between the episode, and you just see this. You just see a man twerking with two girls, jacking off a lamp. Lamps everywhere, lamps everywhere. Lamps everywhere, lamps everywhere. Lamps everywhere, lamps everywhere. Chairs, couches. I don't know whether it's just me, but I'm 99% sure that the majority of the lyrics in this video are Lamps everywhere, lamps everywhere. This is some amazing lyric writing, you know. Whoever thought of this video and whoever thought of these lyrics deserves millions. The problem is, after I upload this video and I try and get some sleep, I'm just gonna hear the word lamps everywhere, lamps everywhere, just, just echo and ring in my ears like I'm a Vietnam veteran with some kind of PTSD. <laughs> Lamps everywhere, uh, HFL, you need some furniture, HFL, you need Honestly, what I would love to know is, whoever made this video, whoever produced it, whoever wrote the lyrics, how does this fit into selling furniture in any way, shape or form? I'm honestly really trying here, guys, trying to find the correlation between twerking, dressing up as the opposite sex, telling yourself a lot, and home. Please comment down below if you know any kind of correlation here, because I honestly know none at all. I I'm completely lost, I'm confused, and I'm honestly quite intimidated by the amount of ass in my face in this video. You know we got you. Uh, tell us sparkle sensor. What, 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 what? Uh. If you're my opinion, I think this guy's gonna be like one of the new enemies in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Because, you know, they're, they're never gonna stop being made. I think we need to all just accept that now. This is gonna be one of the antagonists in one of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. You got Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, and now Tanface, man. Tanface, man. That, that's his new name now, Tanface, man. He, do, he doesn't need a name. Forget the age, forget the birth certificate. He is simply known as Tanface, man. HFL, white girl twerk team, we out. I'm pretty sure the majority of that video was just twerking and nothing else. I, I think they were selling furniture, but I was just too distracted by the glorious man ass. Thank you for that, YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And before I end the video, I have to present to you my exclusive clothing range coming soon. I know a lot of you have been asking for t-shirts or designs so you can clothe yourself and embarrass yourself in public. Well, today I have my own clothing store. I present to you... Don't give Pyro and platform to defend himself range. We have the t-shirt, the bag, the pillow, the greeting card, the notebook, and of course, the frame print, so you can always remind yourself to not give Pyro and platform to defend himself. Prices are incredibly cheap, only starting at $900 each. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>